Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. This will be my What I Have Colored in January 2019 video of my completed pictures. I have one whip, I believe, still that needs to be completed. Eh, eh, eh. Right? <laughs> I hate whips. So, without further ado, I have a huge stack of books here. I really tried to color in um, as many different books as I could this month. Um, there are some multiples in books, but let's just jump right in. This is Tabitha Barnett's Broken Mandala, and let's see. Some I actually have marked and some I don't, so. This one here, it's Pretty Mandala, I completed um, on a weekend with my glitter gel pens. Look at that sparkle. That's some bling. Um, these are, I believe, um, I do believe that these are Mm. I believe these are colorets and super doodles and then the silver and the gold around the edges are my dual hybrid metallics that is what I believe several of these I didn't write down my mediums this month and I'm sorry this I've been working on just over the past couple days. I'm actually kind of proud of it, but kind of like eh, all at the same time. We'll see what you guys think. I put a very light base coat of marker down, very pastel-y, um, with my Touch New markers. Um, the lightest blue, lightest green, lightest pink, lightest yellow that I could find. And then I came back in with my new... Um, Sergeant Art Supreme pencils and I did all the shading in pencils. Um, the flowers actually have three, I believe, three different colors of pencil um, gradiating upward and then the highlight at the top of the base marker. The frogs have two different greens. The yellows have the wings have three and the flowers have two and I just shaded um, in the blue and everything the blue has two different shades of blue in that as well as the marker so I mean this is me learning pencil work I really do like the Sargent Art Supreme pencils at least for shading um, I, I adore these I love them I did this whole picture and my hand never hurt in the least so that's it for Broken Mandalas. I'm going to have to start me a stack of books, and I hope they don't all fall over on us. I don't think I can zoom out any more than I am. I can't. I'm sorry. Okay, this is Tenderful Enchantments. And this page I did at the very beginning, right as soon as I got the book. Um, I kind of wanted to copy the cover image. Um, as much as I could. So, what do you guys think? Um, I used my Spectrum New York markers on this. I also used one of my six Copics. <laughs> um, I used my Artify markers. I used, for shading, I went in and used um, Cory Nor, my Cory Nor Woodless Pencil. And I did some blending out with Odorless Mineral Spirits. And then I added Stickles. And it's the Crystal is the name of these Stickles. I don't know if I can pick up the shine for you guys or not. There, can you see that? It's very, very, very sparkly on my end. And I love it. I absolutely love this. And... I did this one and I don't like it at all, so I didn't even put a background. <laughs> I was just, my, I went way too dark here, um, 
I picked a bad purple and tried to go back in with my Posca pen to kind of try to lighten it up some. Yeah, I wasn't happy at all with the color scheme for this one. So it is what it is. And that's it, I believe, for Fairy Miracles. Yeah, I've started this one. Oh, I'm shaking the camera. I'm so sorry. I've started this one, and I'm not sure I like where this is headed. I'm trying to remind myself constantly that I cannot use the color that I'm kind of going for, that I have to go much lighter. Like when I did the tree, the brown, I felt it's, it's way too dark. I should have went with a much lighter brown and then added shading with maybe pencils. Or on this paper, you could actually probably use your marker as well. So I don't know. I may or may not go back to that one. Um, I kind of cried about those two. Um, it makes me feel like I need to um, get another copy of the book. <laughs> I know that's horrible. Okay, this is our Chibi Girls Grayscale. And do you guys want a spoiler for part two? <laughs> I haven't released part two yet of the last color along. Um, I need to get that released probably today. So... I'll go ahead and show you guys the spoiler, I guess, because um, it is my completed. This is the picture completed, and I'm sure by the time I release this, you'll have already seen part two. Okay. And let me take this out. What else did we get done? We did this one on camera as well with the little kitty cats. And then this one was done. Can you tell this is probably my favorite Jade Summer book that I have? I really want to get light and dark fantasy now. I love this grayscale. I truly do. I did this one just on my own. Just playing around with some markers. And then... Oh, I guess... I had marked this page because I wanted to do it during the color along, but I did. I just did the other one. This is a whip that I've started here. I totally forgot that I had a whip. Oh, goodness. So I need to work on that one. Maybe I'll go ahead and leave a flag right there so I can find it. And is there another one? I didn't think there was. Oh yeah, this was one that I had marked to do, but we did not get to that one, and I don't know that we will before the month's over. So that's the Chibi Girls Grayscale. Then I have, this was our last Happy Tuesday, last Tuesday. Um, this is from Broken Circles. Bradley needs to calm down and sit down somewhere. His little clickety, clickety, clickety. This is Tabitha Barnett's Majestic Mandalas. And I did this one here. These were done with Color It Gel pens. I like the colors on that one. Nice and bright it for that. Then we have Magical Forest Jade Summer. I did this one on camera. I started to add like a background to it, but I kind of was like, eh. You know, if you guys remember, I really didn't like this orangey color that I ended up with. I was going more for a pink, and it turned out to be more of an orange. But this was the A-N-A-E-N -A -E -N Art Gel Pens. And then we did this one on camera. And I ended up with the, the marker lines. I, I need to take um, Anne's advice and go back with some pastel. And put some pastel over this and hopefully um, get rid of some of these lines. Okay. I think he's going to lay down for me now. Hidden Garden, Jade Summer. 
and we did this one on camera. This was my Stabilos or Stabilos, and I used some pastel chalks and a little bit of uh, color it gel pens on the leaves. A little bit of glitter there. I had several picked out to do in here that we didn't do. I'm going to go ahead and take these extra stickers off. I'm really glad I didn't show you guys pages that I was going to commit to do, and I thought about showing you guys the pages in case you guys actually wanted to do actual color alongs. I'm glad I did not do that. Okay, and then I just did this one here um, with some fine liners and some gel pens. I need to go in and add some kind of a pastel background maybe on that. Alright. Then we have Jade Summer Magical Mandalas. And I had picked out several in here also to do. Excuse me. That did not get done. So, shame on me. I feel like I really failed at this. Um, this was uh, one that I did as soon as I received my dual hybrid metallic pens, or pencils, gel pens as Happy Mail. I wanted to put some down and see what they looked like, so I just did this mandala in all of the dual hybrid metallics. So, get you guys some glimmer there. There we go. So you guys can see, these have got to be the most shiny, glitteriest gel pens I think I've ever, ever seen. I love them. And then I did this one. I'm not sure what this is, honestly. It, hmm. I'm not sure what pen. These are definitely a water-based marker of some sort or pen. But I'm not sure. I guess they could be my Tombos, but for some reason I'm thinking they're not Tombos. But if they're not Tombos, then they are... Um, pit Pins. Did I do this on camera, guys? With the Pit Pins? This might be the one I did with Pit Pins to show you guys how the Pit Pins worked. Maybe. I'm not sure. Alright, let me see if I did any more in here. I'm not thinking I did. I feel like I'm I feel like a kid that didn't come prepared for a test. Okay, and that's it for that. This was our Jade Summer Flower Girls. This is actually a very pretty book. Why is this marked if it's not done? Um, I guess it was one I was going to do. Here, I did this, and I was going to do it light-based and try to come in and shade with pencils, and I just was not digging the way the pencils were looking when I was putting them down. So I just stopped and said, okay, picture's done. I can't remember what pencils I was trying to use, but I did not feel like I was getting any type of a blend. Um, and I just, I didn't like it. So... I just stopped, and I'm really sorry for the shaking. I'm accidentally hitting this. I need to lower it back down some, but I like it being low like this. Okay, this, and this is why I don't think that other one, I'm pretty sure that other picture was my pit pins, because they, Tombos are very vibrant. This was the one that we did on camera with the Tombos. See how bright Tombos are? So, yeah, that was the Tombow. And that's it. This was one I was going to do. I went through the different Jade Summer books and just tried to look for any that I thought might be um, interesting and mark the pages. Okay, this is Deborah Muller's Little Sweethearts. I'm excited. Just found out there was a new Deborah Muller book that I did not know about. It's ordered. It's on its way. It's actually a fairy tale. It reminds me a little bit of like the Hannah Lynn fairy tale darlings or whatever. Okay, here we go. This was a Touch 5 markers and soft pastels. 
I colored this just sitting up one night and um, yeah I did some shading a little bit in her shirt in her skirt and her shoes and around the book um, I put the soft pastels down I think it's so cute it says I love coloring and you I showed this to Gary. I said, here, honey, I made this for you. <laughs> okay, and I did this little lady, too. I love the little messy pull-up bun look. And it says, she has her little kitty cat. It would have been better if it would have been a puppy, but it says, be mine. And his balloon says, I am. Isn't that just the cutest? So I did this um, just with alcohol markers and then and shade, did some shading with pencil. And I, then I put some pastels in the background. And I believe, no, yeah, I think these are my regular pastels. Okay, let me see. And I did this little beauty here. She was done as a color and chat. And then I came in and did some shading with pencil and put gel pen um, as well for some shine. So she was our little sweetheart color and chat from several days ago. Shine on her. Okay. This is Tabitha Barnett Tangled Hearts. And I did this one, and this was actually with Spectrum Neor, and then I just used some of the Shimmer Mist um, on the wings for some shimmer, and on the hearts. And this was all gel pens. Let's see, I believe these are color it gel pens. glitter gel okay and then my color at mandala book that was happy mail I wanted to put some gel pens down just to see how it works so I used color it gel pens and a color it book color it book and we did I did this one I need to sit down and put some marker down I've heard that the markers are like a dream and I just used as many colors out of the um, color it gel pens as I could just to kind of test them out a little bit. I try to be all fancy writing my name. <laughs> okay. World of Flowers, Johanna Bassford. Um, I did this page here, and this one was done with um, a Faber Castell, my Faber Castell pit pins. And I use the A&R Art glitter gel pens as well as color it gel pens on this one. And then there's one more I know because I, this is, was a whip for several days. And I finally got it complete. It's a double page spread. Hopefully you guys can see most of it. This was a labor of love for me. This has Faber-Castell pit pens. It has um, Arteza fine liners, Stabilo fine liners, Staedtler fine liners. It has um, it has gel pens that are A and Art gel pens, Gel Rider gel pens. Then it has Pebbles Chalk for a background, and it's the pearlescent Pebbles Chalk for the background, and also Fila Pencils. Um, all of the house, not, you know, the flowers or anything, but the actual little houses here um, on both of these, and as well as the little mushroom stems and the ground all right here. <clears throat> Excuse me, that is all Fila pencils. I was so stinking proud of myself, guys. I did not do a 
marker base or anything. That is 100% pencil. And then coming in and shading with darker pencils and blending that all out. So, and I believe it's Prismacolor pencils. So yeah, I actually did something in just pencils. Not the whole thing, of course, but that I did. It's pencils, it's pencils. I shaded this with pencils, shaded this part with pencils. That's this. This was shaded with pencils. And then all of that, of course, is pencil. So, yay. I'm proud of this. I am super duper proud of this double page spread. Okay, I did one out of Creative Haven Butterfly Mandala by Joe Taylor. And I just did this one. And I debated if I even wanted to show it to you guys, honestly. But there's a cute little story behind it. Gary didn't get any sleep at work one night. And he came home and he had sleep. And I had to color, you know. So I used one of those little headlamps that you can get that has a strap that goes around your head and a little light on the front. It's battery operated. Sat in a dark bedroom with a fan going while he tried to sleep with that light shining directly down on here. And I had my um, fine liners out. And this is what I did. <laughs> so I just thought it was kind of cute. It's things that you'll do to color. Okay, and this is from Oh Crap, I'm Addicted, and I just did this one in pit pens and color it gel pens. Cute, 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 cute. And then this is Garden of Joy, Sabine Design. This. Oh my gosh, this book is like overload of cuteness. I need to keep this one out. I'm not even putting this back on the shelf because I want to color some more in this. <laughs> I loved this book. I did these two little deer, mommy deer and baby deer. And I did these with um, Spectrum Neor markers and color it gel pens. And then I used some soft pastel for the background telling you guys, if you guys don't have this book, it is 100% cuteness overload. So cute. I just absolutely adore this book. I want to get Garden of Joy 1 now also. And this is Hannah Lynn, Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings. And I did the fairy godmother picture here. Um, this was done with Zanji markers. Because I wanted to test out the Zanjis. So this was done with the Zanji markers. And then I used um, gel pens. I put some shimmer around just about everything. And then I used the markers. You see the shimmer? Yeah, lots of little shimmer. Okay. And then I did one in Timeless Creations Magical Garden. And this was from our crayon video where we used Crayola crayons in the little color and chat. So this was all... Crayola crayon, and then we blended it out with odorless mineral spirits just to get all, some of the wax off. Pretty, pretty. I still need to do a background on this one, I think, but this is from Alice in Wonderland, Fabiana Anastasio. Um, I did Alice, the little shrinking Alice from the Drink Me. Or eat me. Is it drink me or eat me? It's drink me. That makes her little, I believe. And these are just Faber-Castell pit pens. I wasn't even studying, trying to not have lines or anything. To me, it seems like I got more streaks from the Faber-Castell on pit pens on this paper than I do on just um, 
like Create Space paper because I've showed you guys that I can, you know, use these on Create Space, use the Faber Castell pit pens on Create Space paper and not even get these lines. I've used them in my Johanna Basford books and not really got any lines, but for whatever reason in this Fabiano Anastasio book, it's, I'll try to bring it up some so you guys can maybe see it. I know I'm shaking the camera. Jeez. Yeah, you see the lines there? And I don't know. I don't know. You know, every paper is going, you know, medium is going to work different on every paper. And that's sad because those are my go-to pen or markers for um, being able to color in double-sided books because they don't bleed. See, guys, they do not bleed. So that's why I love the pit pens so much. Even some of your fine liners will bleed sometimes, but I've never had the pit pens bleed on me, and that's great. Okay, this is Whimsical Wonders. This is the Artist Edition, Julia Spiri. I did one in here. I did this one here. I wish I would have went with a different color for the flowers, but too late. Um, I did... Um, this was Inspection of New York Markers, and then I shaded with the Corinor Woodless Pencils, and the background is Gallery Pastels that came from Hobby Lobby. I love these books. This paper is very, it's interesting kind of paper, in my opinion. It's nice, but it's different. Yeah, it's nice. I like this. It's very pretty. I'll color in it again very soon. I think I'm just going to lay it to the side so I can have it. And then I have Fairy Miracles, Clara Markova. Zoe Archer had done the nameplate page on a video, and she had asked if anyone else had done the nameplate page and if they had to share it. It inspired me to pull out my book and do the nameplate page. This is the first time I've ever done a nameplate page in any book. So I did this one, and it was Spectrum New York Markers and some gel pen and a little bit of Posca. And I put this on Facebook for Zoe to see so she could see that. So that was inspired by Zoe Archer. And then I did this unicorn here. And then I did this one. I really like this. This fairy with all the flowers. And these are Spectrum Neors, um, basic markers, Corinor woodless pencils, my Artify markers, Chameleon markers, Arteza woodless pencils, Twinkle Stickles, and Color It Gel Pens. Alrighty. I think that's it for that one. Yep. That's it for that book. Okay, and then Magical Delights, Clara Markova. This was gifted to me, and I was so excited. And I did this one here, and I tried to do the berries with pencil, and yeah, I didn't like the way that turned out for me. I didn't like the way the leaf shading turned out for me. I mean, this was, I'm, I'm working on learning to use the pencils. And then I came in and I used some of the dual hybrid metallics in her wings and on the flowers, which I should have probably used something else besides that. And I used some pot, um, soft pastels. So, and I believe, oh, this isn't, okay, okay, okay. This is all Prismacolor. Yes, everything is Prismacolor Premier Pencils. The leaves, um, the berries, all of that, and then I've used glitter gel pen. And for this glitter on her dress, I don't know if you guys can really, can you make that out? This is that um, glitter that I had purchased at Walmart. But I had asked if any of you had tried. It's this. The, um, what is it called? It's Glitterific by Folk Arts. Um, this was the 
Glitterific Acrylic Paint Clear Hologram. What's this one? And it has like some blues and pinks and purples and stuff in it. But can you guys, sorry for shaking that. I'm making you guys so dizzy. That's how it dried. This is all the little pieces of that glitter. Okay. And then I did Zen Doodle Magical Fairies, which is by Deborah Muller. And I did this one. I did her skin with chameleon markers, and everything else is AN Art, A E N Art gel pens. Okay. This is Jason Hamilton's Art of Mandala that was gifted to me. And I did uh, this one in, um, I believe these are Super Doodle gel pens. Very shiny. Told you guys did a lot of mandalas. <laughs> Mandala meditation coloring book. And this one I did with all of the fine liners that I could find. I was trying to test out fine liners on more quality type paper. Um, because I wanted to see if the Artezas, the Staedlers, and the Stabilos would hold up to each other. Because first I told you guys that I didn't like the way Arteza was tearing up paper. It wasn't working real great in my Jade Summer swatch book, but it worked okay in just a Jade Summer book later. And they performed just as well as Staedlers um, here, as well as the Stabilos. But I do think that the Artezas are much more like um, Staedlers. And then I also used some Hobby Lobby fine liners. So I had Arteza, Stabilos, Stabilos, or Stabilos, and Hobby Lobby fine liners. For this one, Joyous Blooms to Color, Eerie, Eerlery Flower, Fowler, Fowl. Fowler. And I did this one. And this is all gel pen also. And I believe these are A and Art gel pens. Okay. More mandalas. This is meditative med meditative garden mandala. And I did this one. Again, all gel pens. I love taking gel pens to do mandalas like this. They, I think they turn out great and sparkly and pretty, and I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. That is my favorite medium for doing these type of mandalas. Okay. And then we have Denise Klett, Mermaids in Paradise. And I did this one on camera with my Why I Color video. And I did this one. And when I finished, um, I did this in Spectrum New York markers. And then I used, I believe, Color It gel pens. Also. And when I was done, I used the Gung Hue or Hero watercolor pencils. And I just tried to go in the same direction with the pencils. And then I applied water also, you know, um, vertically to try to keep it even. Because I wanted it to kind of look like this was a waterfall directly behind the mermaid and the turtle. I'm not sure if I truly... Let me pull this back so you guys can see closer. I'm not sure if I really accomplished that or not. And I'm shaking the camera again. I mean, does that look like waterfally? <laughs> that's what it was meant to be. So, and that's that one. And then I did one in Gnomes from Gnomes in the Neighborhood, Denise Klett. And I did this for John. 
the bibliophile colorist for his um, Winter Wonderlands color along. Okay. Now we're down to it looks like four more, and it's they're all Johanna Bassford's Secret Garden. And we started this, I believe, as a color and chat. This was pit pens, color it gel pens. Um, Hero watercolor pencils for the background. I went very circular motions, really small, and then put some water over that for the background. And Johanna Basford Magical Jungle. And I did this one, her Magical Jungle. I used my Arteza pencils in this, and then I used mixed um, gel pens. I used some hybrid metallics because I wanted to see how they would work on the Johanna Basford paper. I used um, some just several other different brands as well, and there is soft pastel for the backgrounds. Then I did one in Enchanted Forest, and it's this one. This was done with Faber-Castell Gold Favors gel pens, stickles, and soft pastels. So all of the um, stump here was in my Gold Faber pencils. I did my shading and everything. Um, I did the mushrooms, it looks like, with the Gold Fabers, and um, it looks like some of the leaves on these leaves also. So yeah, and then, you know, I got so, at that point I was tired, and I was like, oh, gel pens, <laughs> and then the little dots on top of the mushrooms I did with my stickles. And then last, but definitely not least, I finally did it. I finally did it. I popped the bubble and colored in Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. And I did this one, the keyhole. And this is Faber-Castell Pit Pens and AEN Art, Art Gel Pens. And as you can see, this is on the Johanna Basford paper. You don't have those lines from those pit pens on this. So I don't understand what goes on with that Fabiano Anastasio. Fabiano, Fabiana Anastasio. I don't understand what went, what the deal is with that paper because I didn't get the lines here with the um, pit pens. So, and originally I did get the pit pens to use in like Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. So I'm glad that they work in here. Okay. That is it for me, guys. That is all that I colored for the month of January. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And until next time, peace, love, and happy coloring. Bye, guys.